so stinking cute. You can't tell me nothing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is such a weird angle, but hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just here, Brianna. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Obviously, we are doing nails again today. Okay, so this set is old, and I thought, why not show you guys how I take my nails off first? um because a lot of people were asking and um i'm about to do a fresh set a lot of you guys asked me to do my right hand in today's video so that's coming up as well and then um a lot of people ask for different shapes i'm gonna do like short almonds today and whatnot yeah these are like three plus weeks old i do have some lifting so it's time for these babies to go but honestly some of them are still like completely on with no problems so the only reason that i'm taking them off is because my hair is starting to like get caught underneath the lift and we don't like that um all i'm gonna do is take a a really tiny nail like this and i'm just gonna pop her underneath um, I don't know if y'all nail salon does this. It's actually not the best way to take your nails off. But when my nails are old like this, they kind of just come right off with no problems. So that's why I'm doing it. So boom. That's literally how I pop them off. If you don't want to do this because it's damaging to the nails, I completely understand. You can soak them. Just give yourself a little nail bath with, what is it, acetone, hot water and stuff like that and just soak them off. But unfortunately, I don't have time to do that today because I got somewhere to be. I'm going out with the girlies tonight, per. And do y'all see how long my nails are? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this entire hand and I'm going to come back when it's time to do this one. Okay, Miss Girls, so I just went ahead and did my first hand off camera. I'll probably put in a little time lapse that I did over here so you guys could see. You know, got to get the content for TikTok. But I actually am really feeling this just like pink vibe hold on i think i should turn my light down just a tad bit yeah i feel like that's better right Per, get into it get into the shade y'all know i'm gonna have everything linked in the description box below but the color from the v shine um pink gel polishes that i use i'm using number two today let's get into it first things first in terms of prep i'm gonna go ahead and buff my nails okay because this is the before blunt and this is the after when it comes to doing things with my left hand i kind of just keep this in place and move my right hand so you see how my hand is moving and not the buff yeah that helps me out and again i grip my fingers in a weird way it just makes it feel a little more natural it just makes me feel like i have a little bit more control this is something i make sure i never skip doing um, it helps the nails grip onto, it helps the fake nails grip onto your natural nails a little bit better. I already had um, clipped my nails down with my nail clipper. I did it off camera, low C and toe, but now I'm going to move on to pushing my cuticles back. And I like to use this little tool. I basically just push the cuticle back. I usually put my hand down and do it, but I was trying to show y'all. And when you push it back, you're going to be able to like slide the nail right in place and it's going to have such a good grip at the base of your nail bed and it's going to cover all of your sides so that's why you cannot skip that step so now you should have something that looks like this and honestly this is the time where you would cut your cuticles i'm gonna skip cutting my cuticles today because i think my nails look pretty good in my opinion if you think otherwise back it up this is the glue that i use it's by kiss it's linked in the description. It's called the Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue. And these are the tips that I'm using. Savvy Land, linked in the description. I'm making this person who sells on Amazon so much money because y'all been running that kit up. Some people like to put the glue on the nail and then apply it. I don't like that. Put the glue directly on my nail like so when I kind of like brush it down. And then I take my Gel X tip <laughs> the grip on this pinky is crazy um but i just take the nail and i apply it like so i'm trying to show y'all but i'm also trying to make sure i'm putting it on correctly like sometimes i apply it and it be crooked crooked and i don't like that 
but I just apply it like that and I'm kind of like pushing it into my nail bed like I'm pushing it into my cuticles because I don't want it to lift and I like to hold on to it and press down for a good amount of time probably like 15 seconds so yeah that's how I apply the tip it's still a little crooked but we're just gonna have to leave her on today honey because we're on a time crunch how much glue I add I do like one big drop pull it down and then I just apply the tip by pushing it into the nail bed hopefully this one is straight hold it there for a good amount of time before you let it go otherwise they will pop off immediately so boom a lot of people were asking me why I do this in the first place so let me tell y'all because of course I know that I can just run to Rite Aid, I can run to Walgreens, I can run to CVS and buy me a pack of Prestons and put them on. However, they're not going to last as long as this Seven Last set lasts. This set has 500 pieces. Not 50, not 250, 500 pieces. Are you dumb? Do you know how long that's going to last you? I haven't ran out yet and I've had this set for so long. Most of the sets from the drugstore, they be ugly, to be honest. If it's a plain color, I probably don't like the color. It's either gonna look childish or old looking and I don't like that, not at all. So why not go ahead and do it myself? See how it looks like I'm growing it right out of my skin? That's what you want. Y'all gonna stop talking about my finger hair. I don't understand why it bothers y'all so much. Like, y'all are some easily bothered folks. It don't make sense to me. It used to be an insecurity of mine as a child. And then I grew out of it because I'm like, girl, for what? Insecure over hair for what? Y'all do know the hair is natural, right? I'm a hairy person in general. I probably got more hair and more edges on my head than you do. Oop, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> so now I'm going ahead and cutting my nails. That's self-explanatory, boo. I don't really know what more to tell you. Now something that's not so self-explanatory since we're doing this shape, I like to use scissors this is what the nail salon do so that's what i'm gonna do but i just chop off like that much so your nail is gonna look something like that oh this is a good explanation because you you see it yeah just take that part off it's super hard to do the thumb so i just like turn my whole hand around Boom, so now I have something that looks like this. Crazy, I know. Then I'm gonna take my file. Y'all was coming for my file last time. I got a new file, thanks you. And I just angled the file underneath the nail like this. And I just file away. But I just file on one side and get that angle correct on all of my nails. And then I go back and do the other one just because once you get a good position, you get the flow. And once I'm flowing, I'm not stopping. Then I do the other side and then I round out the top. Okay, my love, so this is what we have. Um, at the same time as I was filing and shaping, I buffed them. So now I'm going to go wash my hands with just warm water, no soap. 
Boom. So this is what we have. It is very imperative that you wash away all that dust, girl. Get rid of the dust, Buki, before you start painting because you don't want any little dust particles to be on your nails. You just want smooth, a, a smooth start, okay? So this is what we have all shaped up. I like the almond shape. Now I'm going to cap to you. And I'm lazy and I'm in a rush, so I'm going to skip the base paint. But I use the same base paint um, from Beatles as this top coat. So make sure you do that first. Okay, Buki, make sure you do that first. And then like I told y'all earlier, I'm going in with number two. Okay, and I'm just gonna do two coats of this. I literally paint as normal. I'm a little ambidextrous. So, plus I've been doing my nails, FYI, since I was a child. So I ha I've had a lot of practice. And be careful to don't get any paint on your skin because it makes it look messy and we want neat nails especially if you care to paint on your skin no bueno so that's what we have our first coat and i like to let them dry under the led lamp for 30 seconds just 30 seconds. I realized if you let your nails sit under the lamp for too long, they could like start bubbling over. And as you can tell, I don't have no bubbles. So 30 seconds. That's it. And then do your second coat. This lamp is also linked in my description box below. Or I'm gonna put it in the comments because sometimes my description box be removing my links, which is disrespectful. YouTube needs to fix that issue. And make sure you're applying your your nail polish all the way to your nail bed. Just makes it look seamless. Boom, and go in for another 30 seconds. And now I'm going to go in with my top coat. Because <laughs> like I said, I am in a rush, so I'm not going to do the French now, but don't worry. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I am going to come back and do it probably tomorrow. And if you need to clean up the sides, just use the point of your nail to clean those up. Always do that before you cure. So now that those are dry, I'm going to take this oil that I got from Truly. Um, it's a face oil, but the fact that it's scented throws me off, so I like to use it as a cuticle oil. <laughs> Same difference, right? And I'm just going to apply oil to my cuticles. I hate when your nails look dry after you're done, so I never skip the cuticle oil. Because y'all know I'm going out, so can't be looking ashy. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on this hand as well. So this is the starting base of the almond shaped nails. Don't worry, I'm gonna come back and do the Frenchies later, but you can definitely just stop here. So for my girls who like a little more like soft, simple, sophisticated look, you can stop here. Cause these are so cute. Okay, you guys, so I am back and I went ahead and did my French tips on this hand. I painted it white and then I added chrome. And when I tell you this is currently like my all time favorite set, I'll be using my gel polish. It came in the same set as the chrome. For this, you're gonna need your white polish and then an itty bitty little brush. And I'm literally just going to put a little bit of the white polish at the tip. Once I do that, um, I flip the top of my polish upside down and I just take a little bit on my brush. Paint the side of the nail first with a thin strip. But yep, I just connect like this. I hope y'all can hear me over my air blowing as well. It's hot in here, girl. It's like 87 degrees outside. But I just brush little strokes until it connects. Y'all cannot see ya. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to show y'all on another finger. So then you're going to have something that looks like this once it's all connected. And then I'm going to carry it. And just like the first time around, I care for 30 seconds.
some shit, man But I be on my shit, man I decided that what you give is what you give in. So I've been trying to do it right I've been doing like whatever gets me through the night What a life I'm steady, always on the go y'all so i brought y'all back on this side because the lighting was a little bit better i really hope that y'all was able to see the way that i painted the french tip if not i'm sorry and i will get a better setup soon but now i'm just doing my final cure on all of the nails you want to make sure you want to make sure okay let me emphasize make sure that your white polish is completely cured and dried before you apply your chrome so the chrome color that I'm using today is called the the unicorn chrome, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's the one that has like a little pinkish undertone. And honestly, the camera isn't even picking up the color. But hopefully you can see it a little bit on my nails. It's not like your regular silver chrome. It has like, it looked like unicorn sparkles, girl. <laughs> like... I'm trying to show y'all without having it spill all the way out. They come with these little, what I like to call, like the little kitty, the kitty um makeup brushes that you used to get in kits as a child. But they come with these little applicators. All I like to do is dab it into the chrome powder. Get you a really good amount because you want it to be super opaque. And then I just take it, and this is the easiest part of this whole process, girl. All you're going to do is just rub the entire white tip of your nail with the brush. And by doing so, the chrome is going to stick to that polish. And now you have a chrome French tip. I do not take L's. Slap with these customized nails. Make sure you get all your sides. Don't leave no paint unchromed so now you're gonna need you some alcohol i'm just gonna pour me a little bit in this thing okay don't be like me don't be ghetto get you a little bowl or something be cute and fancy <laughs> and then get you a q-tip and you gonna dip one end of your q-tip in the alcohol you don't need much okay because it will run off the q-tip don't cure your nails yet because you gotta clean them up okay and then you're just going to get all that excess chrome off your nail by wiping it with the Q-tip. I'm not sure if I should be using alcohol to remove this or if I should be using something else. So if you know, let me know in the comments down below, girl. I'm still learning. But it works perfectly fine for me. Just make sure you don't get too much of the alcohol. And boom! You have a perfect little chrome French tip. I will say if the chrome doesn't look like it's coming off when you're trying to clean it, just apply a little bit of pressure. And then once your nails are clean, you want to cure for a really good time. Okay, make sure that that is dry. So I'm probably going to do a good 60 seconds this time around. I only have one tip when it comes to applying a top coat because for some reason, the, the, the chrome takes... A really long time to dry so if you ever run into some chrome that's still moving around a little bit i will say the best way to paint your nail is to keep the um top coat at the bottom where where you only have like your where you have your pink polish at right don't touch the top yet and then flip your brush around and then try your best to do like one smooth brush over the chrome because I can look at my nail polish brush right now and see the little chrome powder and if you brush the chrome and then you put your brush back at the base of your nail bed like where your cuticles are and then you continue to brush through you're gonna put all that chrome through the nail 
on the, on the part of the nail that you just cleaned, if that makes any freaking sense. And when you brush the tip slowly, you allow the brush to expand. So it's going to cover in one swipe, I promise you. And now I'm going to care for a final 30 seconds. So, yep, this is the final product. They look so stinking cute. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing, okay? So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Per, we love having pretty nails. So, yeah. Comment down below which style of nails I should do next. Bye, mamas. Mwah. Yeah.